Jeremy Cook here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a bike rack. This bike rack won't save you any space, but it does make the bikes very accessible. This is actually my first time dealing with this 2020 extrusion, and that's not for the year 2020, it's actually 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. I had this set up in a couple, couple hours based on just a very rough sketch that you saw at the beginning. None of this extrusion was actually cut. It came as one meter length, which worked out nicely for this project. And I'm just setting up here. Had to work out a few things, but everything fits together with angle brackets. And there's a bit of space on top that I'll address a little bit later. So looking pretty good. And then one bike can fit on one side and one bike on the other. Now, if you're wondering how this all goes together, it actually doesn't go together that way. It goes together the other way. The button head screw goes through on one side and then on the other side, these T-nuts go through. These T-nuts are really fantastic. You can just put them into the side of the extrusion, tighten them down and then just like, like magic, they just tighten down. You don't have to put them through the side or anything. So that's just what I'm talking about here. You put it in and then tighten it down with the Allen key. And like magic, it's pretty, pretty secure. Other side, same thing if you got the other side on there. I mean, I don't know why you would use it. If not, tighten it down and most of the time it'll get it, get it secured. Sometimes it doesn't, but yeah, give it another try. So if you're wondering what's going on, you put it in and then slow-mo, twists over and then just by friction, it fits in there. Again, you don't have to slide it in from the top as you might be thinking you have to. It's really, really fantastic stuff. Now it's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but when I got done, get done with this bike rack at some time in the point in the future, I can break it down and it's just ready to go again. So back to the bike rack here, I've got two uprights that I can put my bikes on. It's kind of like a city, city bike rack that you just roll the bikes onto and it just, just holds it. Obviously it needs to be in the secure location because it'd be very easy to take it apart and steal something, but yeah, it's my garage, so hopefully everything will be okay. Right here though, I'm adding a third upright in the middle so that I can I can put three bikes in there. My family actually has four bikes, but one of them has training wheels, so you don't really need an upright for that. There's one of the ends, I'm just fastening down the angle of bracket. Looking good, nice and secure, and then obviously for the uprights and the corners and stuff, you need to put on maybe a couple, couple of extras to keep it secure. There's another view of me tightening something down. It's good to pre-tighten one of them before you put it on. And then here's the middle upright. Gotta adjust it securely. Wasn't, it didn't really have a plan starting out with this, but right there you can see it's about 14 inches on the side and then nine inches on the other side. I thought about it and who knows, I may still add some sort of like storage, storage boxes on it or something on the other side. About three inches here with standard mountain bike type tires if you, or wheels, if, you, if you're riding a road bike or if you've got something different, some, some huge tires, and obviously you can make them, make them wider. As I talked about earlier, there's some space on the sides, on the corners. These, the corner brackets don't fit here for whatever reason. So I printed some design and printed something out. Just fits in there with friction. Worked out pretty nicely. There may be something you could buy for this, but I didn't see it and that worked out just fine. I'll put the STLs on GitHub if if you request it or maybe I'll just do it anyway. So there's my wife's bike. This is, I guess, I guess it's my bike but it's the smallest bike I had. And in the pandemic, it was, it was tough to actually get bikes. So we converted this, made it a little bit, made it as small as we could to get so my wife could ride it. And there's my daughter's bike with the training wheels doesn't necessarily need an upright and then my son's sits on there nicely well after a little finagling and you can see why this other bike even though it's a little bit lighter i didn't convert it to <laughs> for my wife to ride because she's significantly smaller than amy who's you know i'm six three six four you can see it just dwarfs those 26 inch wheels very large frame i i'm a big fan of it myself had it for many years. And here's another view of it. Everything's sitting on there nicely. Looking good. A little Paw Patrol scooter next to it, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun building this. Um, you know, I build all kinds of stuff. It's my first time with extrusion, but I'm sure it won't be the last time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, etc., etc. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook. 
signing off.